Good morning, welcome back. As you can see, I'm back in the pantry and I've been progressing with the uh, plasterboard, etc. Um, in case you're wondering what the envelopes are, uh, hopefully you made it out from the footage. Um, those of you who are kind enough to buy these things on our wish list, uh, the battens, the insulation, the plasterboard, what we thought we'd do is some sort of time capsule, if you like, where we actually uh, leave notes. So one day in however many years when somebody's coming along and ripping the ceiling down, they're going to hopefully find these envelopes with notes in, which uh, gives you know details of the people who have donated these things. So for example, this baton here you saw me writing on, uh, just to translate for you, I put uh, this baton was donated by Susan Mann on the 6th of September 2023. So we're dating everything so they know that was the last time this was worked on. And uh, we've put that on all battens and uh, on the, the other side of the bat, the other battens, I've put um, Irene, who also bought the battens for us on the wish list. Um, the plasterboard that's going in here, this is four sheets. And we, what we've done is we've said the first two people um, happen to buy two sheets each. So we've put their details on. Again, Susan, who bought us two sheets. And then somebody, we've only got the username, I'm afraid. We haven't got the name and there was no clue in their email. So the username on YouTube is at BMAC. So we've put some envelopes up there and we didn't want to attach them to the plasterboard because when people take plasterboard down, they start smashing it uh, into little pieces. So we thought if we write on the plasterboard itself, it'll get lost, but an envelope hopefully won't. And regarding the uh, insulation, there were two people who uh, contributed towards this insulation. And again, it was uh, BMAC and Joni. And so again, we've put envelopes up there with your details in. So uh, you are now part of this restoration so so that's what we did we thought that'd be nice because it would be lovely if i'd found something when ripping down the ceiling um so that's something for another person later on right so i've i've put all these um, plasterboards on it's really really awkward because there's no right angles here <laughs> and some of the wood bows etc but i've made a pretty good job of it and uh, i've just got two left so i'm going to put those in now um, I'll quickly measure up, then go and cut them.
Okay, so we've transplanted some lavenders because we've lost about 15, I think, so far. Is it that many? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was only about seven or eight. No. Okay. Um, because the dogs have weed on them and because they were quite small, they were actually weeing on top of them. But because these are more established, they can't get so close. Yeah. And um, I've actually been... I've actually been weeding the flower bed over there, which um, have got different type of lavender. They're like bunny rabbits. And I've managed to um, get five plants that have rooted themselves um, off the bigger ones. So I'm gonna put them where these are because I didn't want to mix them up too much. No. So these are all the same. I yeah, this is the their sort of walking area, isn't it? When yeah. they come out, they go down the garden, but they always stop and wee on these. But yeah, so we're hoping that the established ones will be um, will be fine. Tolerant, yeah. If, if, all the others are fine. It's just um, yeah. up here. It's so, so that's what we think the problem is. It's the dogs. Mm. But we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so we've got to get we've got to take some more cuttings, etc. Yeah. So. So we'll need about another ten. <laughs> Okay, well that's that piece up, so they're all in now. So all I've got to do now, I've got to tidy up all these screw holes, put some filler in. Um, where these first two sections, where I did them in two panels, I've got to put a bit of tape and jointing in there. So put some tape down and go over it with some uh, plaster jointing. Um, tidy that up and just run a little bit of uh, plaster into these edges. Well, that's the first one, uh, plastered. Um, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that really, because um, you know, am I a plasterer? No. Um, am I pleased? Yes. Um, there's a few imperfections that I can see. I think that a bit of um, sandpaper won't put right. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that's gonna gonna look really lovely. And um, I'll get a really sharp blade and um, cut this edge so I don't pull away any of the plaster, but I'll, I'll leave that for now. There's no rush to get that tape off. I'll get that off overnight, tomorrow maybe. Um, but yeah, and then we can paint this. In fact, I might paint it, then take the masking off. Um, 
So yeah, very pleased with that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, another seven to do. It's a bit long-winded for me because I've never done this sort of thing before, but I'm an enthusiastic amateur. So as long as you're prepared to give it a go, and I am. So yeah, brilliant. So there's quite a few of you who have bought some plasterboard for us um, off our wish list on Buy Me A Coffee. So thank you ever so much. And, Obviously we used four sheets in there, but I've bought some more and they're gonna go up here. And uh, we wanna start the process of winterizing this place. Um, so we wanna get some insulation up and get all this boarded up and plastered, which um, the plastering, funny enough, won't be the priority. It'll just be getting it up and getting it winterized and then I'll gradually go around and plaster it. Um, and hopefully I'll get quicker as I go. So yeah, if you haven't heard your name this week's uh, program, to do with this you will in the next few weeks so thank you well that's 36 square meters so that's a lot of plastering <laughs> and insulation and everything but it, it'll be really cozy last year uh, this room was quite warm because we've got the log burner here um, but it needs insulating so that's the next job really <laughs> is think? that it? <laughs> That's one pan full of um, tomatoes. I thought we so, were just going to have loads, you know. We need to grow more tomatoes. <laughs> we need a bigger preserving we've, we've pan. We've got enough for another pan full. <laughs> and we've still got some on the vines. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got lots to preserve still. So, but there you go. And that's from one of the kilner jars upstairs in the attic that you found. And there, there is a whole... Not that one. That one. <laughs> There's a whole pan of juice here. We didn't put any water in. Um, it's just so juice. So we'll save that because... Yeah. We'll put that in a casserole. Yeah, I don't like wasting things. No, it's nice and smarty. Yeah. 
So all that happened there, we just boiled them up in their own juices. The juices, you know, came out. Uh, lemon juice and so then a, a sterilised... Salt. Oh, salt, sorry, yeah. Mm. And lemon juice one, and sterilised. One teaspoon of lemon juice because it helps to preserve it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. There you go, the start of our preserving That's this year. That's the first year. one this year, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a load more to do, so that'll yeah. give us another couple of jars, I'd say. Um, another jar. Big jar. Yeah, yeah, we're in. Well, it's a start. Yeah. So I better start shelving out the pantry, you know, for all our yeah. preserves. That's the idea. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much. Hope you enjoyed that. And thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who uh, watched. Uh, we had, uh, it was our best viewed video in a few weeks. Yeah. Um, so that's really good. So great. Um, look out, patrons. We're doing a video tomorrow, so we'll get that out in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. Nice, li interesting little video. And um, thank you to everyone that bought us coffees and insulation yeah. and plasterboard. Uh, we've got a lot to do. Yes, thank you for giving me lots and lots of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the start of us actually being warm, because last year I've never felt cold like it. Ah, it, was, it was all right. No, it was freezing. Well, it was, we just, it was chilly. We were just sat round the log burner there with throws on us. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Which <an adventure>. um, <laughs> Joni kindly sent us these heated throws. And yes. They were amazing. They were amazing, <laughs> yes. They'll, they'll definitely be coming in useful this year. Oh, hi. Unless, unless, unless we get the insulation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mind you, we've got all the holes to fill up everywhere. Yeah. It's got more holes in this place than a sieve. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry it's a bit dark. We've put yeah. some work lights on, but uh, we're having one big, big storm out there yeah, at the moment. Really dark. Um, so, and it's only, it's only what, six o'clock in the yeah. evening, but it's really dark. So, because it doesn't really get dark here till nine. No, no, still, still nine dark. out. Of yeah. Anyway, we shall see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs>